everybody, welcome back to Motion Board Shop. Today I'm going to be talking to you about S1 helmets, the different shell sizes that they have, the safety that goes along with them, and how to fit and size these helmets a little bit more appropriately because sometimes it can seem confusing and I'm here to deconfuse it for you. First thing to know, S1 does a really good job with their helmets. Um, I, there's a lot of helmets that we stock in the store. I'm currently using an S1 helmet for a number of reasons. One, it fits my head really good. Two, it has a number of different colors, which is important because this gloss glitter is irresistible. It's the kryptonite for me. Um, and they also do batch tested certified helmets. Certified helmets meaning that they are safe. They've been vetted. They are good enough to put my head in and feel confident that if I do whack my noggin on the ground, this helmet's going to do the best job possible of keeping all of my memories intact. That's what a certified helmet means, is that it has the certification. This one is SPSC certified, which is essentially the certification that you would be looking for for skateboarding, longboarding, activities like that. The next thing that you want to know is that these helmets are batch tested, meaning that not only are they certified, but when they make new runs of these helmets, you know, they reorder, they test them again to make sure that the quality of the new Lifer helmet is on par with the quality of the previous generation of Lifer helmets, which is really cool. They're just doing a good job to make sure that my, hel my head is protected as best possible while riding a Lifer helmet. The next thing that we're going to talk about is the Lifers and kind of how the sizing works. Essentially what you want to know is the pads in the helmets are going to be removable and this is how you will change the size of each different shell. There are three shells that come in the Lifer helmet. They have a Mini Lifer, a Lifer, and a Mega Lifer. The Mini Lifer is for more like kids, smaller headed people. The Lifer does a good job for most people. Um, that's the one that I specifically use. And then the Mega Lifer is for people who are building rockets, um, those big brained individuals out there. Or the six foot four gigantic linebacker who is now going to take up longboarding because he's looking for a less dangerous activity than football. So. The, I'm just going to show you really quick. The Mega Lifer is a much bigger shell fit, meaning that when I put this on my head, you'll notice it has more room front to back, which is less ideal, but you can customize that fit with the different thickness fitting pads that S1 makes. The Lifer helmet is a lot closer to the actual size of my head, and so that's kind of why I went with the Lifer instead of the Mega Lifer. The mini lifer doesn't fit on my head, so I didn't bring it out to show you, but just know it's smaller. It looks a lot tinier on my head. So with this lifer helmet, what you do is you take these pads and they come in different thicknesses and the thicknesses are easily identified by the different colors. So they've got, you know, different sizes and they've got quite a few. So different thicknesses to really dial in that fit. And the cool thing about these um, pads is that let's say you've used your helmet for a year like I have and the pads are getting a little beaten up because you are a sweaty dude like I am you can just replace the pads and typically they're like a dollar or two bucks they're very inexpensive so it allows you to kind of freshen up the inside of the helmet now that I've put the fitting pads back into this lifer helmet you're gonna notice that that little bit of gap that was in that helmet is now completely gone the helmet now fits me snugly but not too tight that it'll give me a headache there's no real gaps. If I move the helmet around, if I twist it, it's really locked onto my head. And if I tip my head upside down and give it a shake, it's not going to flop right off, which is typically what I like to see for a good fitting helmet. After that, one of the things that you'd see is that with the Lifer helmet, I'm using a much thinner pad. With the Mega Lifer helmet, I'm going to be using a much thicker pad. And what that allows me to do is not only use the Lifer helmet to fit my head, but it also allows me to use the Mega Lifer to fit my head as well. By using this thicker pad in the bigger shell helmet, I can get a very similar fit that I got with the Lifer. So now, nice and tight on my head, no gaps from side to side. I tip my head over and I give it a shake and it's not gonna pop off. And that's all thanks to the different sizing pads that come with the helmets. And typically when you buy a helmet from us online, uh, we will send you a couple extra pads just to help dial in the fit. And the other thing that you can do is kind of mix and match the pads. So you can put a thicker pad in the back and a thinner pad in the front to really dial in that fit. And that's going to kind of round out the video. 
on S1 Lifer helmets, the Mini Lifer, the Normal Lifer, and the Mega Lifer. If you've got questions or comments, there's a comment box below. You can ask them there. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can follow us on Instagram. And we just got shirts back in stock. The Support Your Local Dealer shirt. So check those out. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a great day.